Tap tonight in the ACC. 12 days ago, the Fighting Irish handed then number one Duke their first and only loss of the season. Tonight, the rematch in Durham. Number two, Notre Dame. Number three, Duke coming up. One look at the ACC standings will tell you this is more than just two rivals. It's more than just the second and third ranked teams in the country. The winner lies dormy for the ACC title because there is no ACC tournament this year. It's all about getting it done in the regular season. The offense has been good for Notre Dame. The defense has been something special, though. These guys are next level. Jack Kilty, Arden Cohen, Kyle Thornton, all seniors or grad students, 6'2", 200, 6'2", 215, 6'1". They're men. These guys are the warlords. They're taking names, taking numbers. Nobody messes with the Notre Dame defense. Let's throw in Liam Entman behind them in goal, and they are stout on the back end. Jake Naso will take the opening draw for Duke. Kyle Gallagher for Notre Dame, and we're underway. Naso wins as he did so often in the initial battle between these two teams. Gallagher was only 2 of 11 at the faceoff dot. So Naso continues that dominance here in the rematch. Duke got behind. Duke able to kill off the penalty now back at even strength. Here comes York. Kavanaugh spins free and scores. Terrific move by Kavanaugh, the sophomore out of Chaminade. Uses the pick, gets a step. Inside roll as Carpenter's just a little too aggressive at the point of contact. And when Kavanaugh turns off this drive, look how much real estate he can deal with. It's a left-handed drive. He turns. Switches to his right hand, and he's still got some angle to work this Notre Dame offense. It's a power offense. Bo Meyer powers his way up into the front of the crease, but loses the ball, and Weston definitely goes into traffic and picks it up. Plenty of time for the Irish, still more than 30 seconds to shoot. Look how big York is, number 99. Covering York with a midfield defender, bumping an extra pole up to cover a midfielder. Bishop Barger now coming up field, back behind to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh with quickness, and the shovel shot scores! That's patented. Got a lot of good isolation Dodgers, guys who are going to the goal for themselves. One of them right here, Kavanaugh. A.T. Giles Harris on him. Just peppering him, but he gets free a bit. Now he finds York, and he scores! Not a good That's start for John Donowski. Not a good start. Late in the shot clock, too. JT Giles Harris gets through the pick well. He's in good position. He turns Kavanaugh back. They double team off of, off of York. You see the midfield defender, 11 in white, slides to double team. JT can't get back on Will York, and that is all the shooters here who just scare the heck out of me. Eric Dobson up top, the lefty, number eight, and then 99 on the left wing. Kavanaugh scores. All Irish early. Real day. It's a franchise. They've never won the national championship. I got to tell you, with this group, this is their best chance ever. Kavanaugh's come to play tonight. That's his third goal. This one on extra man. A little right-handed curl where he takes the ball to the middle. The kid takes a beating, and he keeps on ticking. The guys... That's Parlett. Kavanaugh quickly inside. Lipka scores, and the Irish continue to pour it on. In this season, a multiple pass goal. Parlett left handed, the freshman from Florida, draws a little skirmish there, the eyes of the defense. He finds Kavanaugh, who is the main assist guy. As I said earlier, Kavanaugh represents over 40% of the team's assist. The kick inside, Montgomery hitting the crossbar. Now Caputo. Here comes Sowers. And he scores to break the drought. Sowers known for his speed and quickness. Watch him use this pick and accelerate. 
Kilty goes underneath the Caputo screen, 13 in white, and that just right there creates enough separation where Sowers can jump, jump shot free up his hand. Here's Nakai. Miss Dyson Williams coming in out of the box open. Here's O'Neal. That's two in a row for the Blue Devils. His first shot of the night, and he buries it. They catch Notre Dame on a sloppy sub. You'll see Dyson Williams comes in. The defense overreacts to 51 in white, and they slough in. O'Neal curls outside of that, catches it dead center. Uh, so efficient, rather, on their clearing. Making clear and, and sharp outlet passes. Very little indecision. That's a great pass and a goal. What a, what a great give and go from Kavanaugh. From every single Notre Dame goal, this assist to the cutting Will York three goal lead for Rudy. You're talking about Daniel Cassidy, one of his D middies, and I was like, you got the Sean Cassidy look, rocking coach. Entman is there again. Great start for making him. Making his job easy. Making his job easy. That's a little bit of sloppy and rushed outlet. But Duke settling for some big time maybe shots. Dyson scores. It's 6-3. He'll learn. They've been playing defense a while. You want to be really careful with that outlet. He overthrows it at the midline. And next thing you know, Duke counterattacks. They got some numbers. The defense is, is out of sorts. The failure to clear usually comes back to haunt. Shot clock issues right now. Ten seconds for Kavanaugh. He scores! That looked like Adler wasn't sure where the ball was and was surprised that it got behind him, but it did. It well, this is a partial screen. Maybe it was deflected as well. Pick is set. He's curling right-handed. It's a pass that just gets through bodies, and Adler can't believe it. you got to respect the trajectory of a ball as a goalie, so you got to be, always be behind the ball. He's I, probably assumed like he, he knew the fake pattern. He knew the, the rhythm and the cadence of the fakes, and he was down as that ball was, was, was left. Either that or he just guessed right. That happens sometimes too, Cotter. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's better to be lucky than right, right? If you're lucky, you're doing something right, and right now Entman's doing a lot right. Dobson, he got free, and he scores! Florida Flame flo Thrower does this one off the dodge. You see the throwback, he's given the whole alley, and he's just gonna run through that hook check. You're gonna need to body up big number eight with, with something more than just a, a little. He seconds to shoot on this possession. Schamberger picks up Jackaboys. Now Wesley. Over to Dobson, just scored his first goal tonight. We got the switch. Now he scores his second. And they put you in a position where if you don't slide, they're going to score on assisted goals, like right here. Or if you go, they're going to get some nice one-look assisted type goals. This is not an offense that relies on rapid ball movement. Ball reversal, side to side to side to side. Dobson gets the switch. He's got a shorty on him. He's given his left hand. Duke has been off target on their last seven shots. Lemon's got a hard outside shot if he can just get an opening, and he can't. 24 and blue on D. Very good. Hallenbach. He, he's, he's a great cover man. For me too. Now Sowers. And he scores an impossible shot. He beats Ensimit, and that's... Duke is still alive. Sowers posts up left-handed. Fadeaway jumper. Not sure Entman got a clear look at it. It's a five-goal margin right now. Sowers and Kielty doing battle. Working on Kielty. Up top to O'Neal. He's got Arden Cohen on him. Now Nakai with a short stick. And it's an offensive midfielder at that in Dobson. Gets underneath him, and he scores! Call the cue. Take advantage of that mismatch. 
what Paul Carcaterra and, and I have done a lot of talking about. But here, Dobson's left on an island. And the Kai Montgomery, folks, is not the type of guy you want to leave on an island. He, he is a terrific former high school football player. Gets by Dobson, no double team. Now Leahy with the ball in his cross, the Providence transfer. Notre Dame can't stop at nine. I don't think nine's going to be good enough to win this game. I think you got to get to 10 or 11 to win this game. And that'll help right there. Leahy buries it. It, look at the reactions. We were talking to Coach Corgan. I said, Coach, I watched your team score goals this year, and the celebrations are, are, are epic. The, guy, the guys clearly like one another. Well, that's easy to like one another when you're, when you're lighting up the number uh, two or three team. in the. Mentioned it all game long how difficult it is to come back against this Notre Dame team. So strong defensively, strong in goal, and strong at the faceoff X. Caputo. Got his man going the opposite way and scores with the left. Them now to end this third quarter. That's three of the last four goals scored by the Blue Devils. Forks are up. Look at Caputo. His ability to plant and change directions. Super quick, really strong. He's able to accelerate in just a few strides, and he paints a corner with liquid. Hockey game cue. I know you just did the NCAA hockey tournament. All these bodies in front. I've seen so many Duke shots now ricocheting off Notre Dame players before it even gets the goal. Duke needs to score a transition goal. Might be here with O'Neal. One-handed oh! scores! A brilliant goal by freshman Brennan O'Neal. Well, this is ridiculous strength by Brennan O'Neal off the, the broken clear. And finally, Duke is able to score a, a non Six on six settled goal. It's a transition goal. Sowers comes up with a loose change. One more to O'Neal. The big face to Hutch and then right handed, underhand. Again, one handed whipper. He's in two. Who's under? Who's under? Wow. It's amazing. Under 10 to play. Denenz is hung out here too, number 88 for Duke. That's a matchup that McCann wants to take advantage of. Feeds in front and Meyer scores! City has its payoff. Starts with great defense. McCann draws two. Meyer, the easy right-handed step down. And he makes it count from about 10 yards. I mean, this is about as good as a look as you'll get. But to your point a little earlier, Q, you get the sense that Duke is going to have to score some in transition, get, some, get a juice goal here or there to turn the momentum around. And every time they, it looks like they may be able to do that. Notre Dame gets possession, winds a little clock, and then scores. And it's Riley Gray. Well, for all the young players who may be watching us, Riley Gray is not a guy on my board until we talk to coach. He said, you know, he, he's, he's playing well enough in practice that we're going to give him some runs. And you get a chance, you make a play, you hear the reaction from the bench, you, you see the celebration. And a face-off man, which I thought that was something too. It is. Ground balls and cause turnovers. And it, it compares favorably to a guy like Michael Sowers, who who's a Tuarton potential finalist. Well, the Kai beat his man and scores, and that's exactly... Talking about Kavanaugh, it's easy to like Kavanaugh and the way he plays. I can say the same about Nakai Montgomery. He only knows one speed, and if you leave him on an island, and it's a shorty, he, he's going to beat the guy. Trust me. Uh, Even strength as Carpenter flings it to the middle of the field. O'Neal. Caputo thought better of it. Now to Nakai. Caputo scores! Great feed from Robertson. And Duke is just hanging around. Starts with the effort by the goaltender to chase the shot down. The possession. Sharp, crisp passing. 
you got to jam the ball inside against this Notre Dame defense. The, the, the catch-22 and the, the tough spot is sometimes you do and it, and it doesn't work. You know. I don't know if Duke has a cryo chamber cue, but these players could certainly use it after this game. Physical. Pudo now back to his left. They got some off time. Notre Dame's got to come back on Sunday. Correct. Now to Kai. Looking to work on Hallenbeck. Scores! Righty from Dallas, Texas, the senior. And he has really picked it up as, as he's sensed that this game was getting away from Duke at 9-3. to three. And since that point, he scored three to make it a, a two-goal game. Huge, huge. It's a fresh 80, but that's not really what concerns Duke right now. They need a goal quickly. Sowers, he scores! Giving the Blue Devils life. What a shot by Sowers. Wow, I tell you, there's a lot going on there. The first look was an A grade chance. I mean, a brilliant chance. And they hit the crossbar. JT Giles Harris does a great job at the midline to keep it alive. And Sowers from 15, while well covered, puts that one in the perfect spot right off of Entenmann's hip. That's the toughest save in the business. You see the young goaltender, he's there. He's just if we you're wish a Blue there Devil were. fan. 26 seconds. So 26 seconds, Ledman puts it in play. And he runs by his defender. Notre Dame has a couple of timeouts left. It's Sowers is going to shoot and score oh the tying goal! I mean, this is a bomb from downtown. This is a like, what are you doing shooting from 16 yards, Michael Sowers? Left-handed down the alley. I mean, he's at distance and he pings the far corner. The perfect shot. Twice in a row, Michael Sowers had made down the stretch here. Duke was down 12-7. They've rattled off five straight to tie it with about 10. There he is in the top of your screen. Dyson Williams will put it in play. Sowers. Now to O'Neal, the freshman. He's got a shorty on him. Takes a shot. Entenmann kicks it aside. Yeah, fresh shot clock here now. Carolina and Virginia game winners. Robertson. Now Sowers up top, down the alley, got a step, curls back inside, nope. Good recovery by Kielty with that poke check. Now Cassidy switches to him. This is what Sowers wants. Gets to the middle of the field, just whistles it wide. I think that hit our microphone back there. Nakai was covering. Thought he settled. Thought he had more there. Nakai now. Dyson Williams in traffic and a lot of traffic. That's got to be something. Now we get a flag. Now it'll be a delayed call. It's not even going to be a loose. It will it be? No, it will not. So play continues. This is going to be a man up situation for Duke. If they don't score here. Imperative that Duke doesn't foul or commit any kind of technical violation with a flag down. Basically, this gives them a free chance to try to make Are they just waiting on it right here? It looks like he's waiting. Now, now he's going to go. Sowers. Double team comes. Look at the attention. Caputo! Just ricochets off a defender. Now we'll get the call. An obvious call that these officials had to make here in overtime. Ball was jammed inside to Dyson Williams, who did a... Remarkable job, Chris, the way he caught this one-handed 51 and white, the lefty out of Canada, played at the Hill Academy, does a good job of catching it. He's in a dangerous spot there, so Notre Dame takes him down. Allen's at guilty the infraction. Situations. So we'll see Duke first man up of the night. In overtime. O'Neal up top. That's Cam Moulet, number 21. Man up specialist. Inside of Moulet, he scores the game winner! <laughs> Duke won 
once again finds a way to win a game in overtime. That's the third one this year. They're three and zero. Tell you that one stings if you're Kevin Corrigan in the Fighting Irish because you basically outplayed Duke for three and a half quarters. I mean, you thoroughly outplayed them. You had a twelve to seven lead.